friends welcome to this video on lines and angles in the previous video we learned about a line a line segment and the different types of angles and now we are very well aware of these definitions and terms in this video moving a step ahead we will discuss the pairs of angles in the given figure identify the ray and the line and tell their names Here AC is a line and BD is a ray. Friends, are angles ABD and CBD adjacent angles? Yes, we have understood this figure well. Now let's move ahead and discuss an axiom related to it. If a ray stands on a line, then the sum of the two adjacent angles thus formed is 180 degree. If you observe the figure there are three angles here can you tell the names of the three angles angle MOP angle NOP and angle MON where angle MOP and angle NOP are adjacent angles the measure of angle MON is 180 degrees since here MON is a straight line and a straight line always makes an angle of 180 degrees By looking at the figure we can easily say that angle MOP plus angle NOP is equal to angle MON. Therefore we can say that angle MOP plus angle NOP is equal to 180 degrees. And if the sum of the two adjacent angles is 180 degrees then they form a linear pair of angles. Now the axiom that we are going to learn is completely opposite to this axiom. If the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree then a ray stands on a line. We call this the converse of the axiom that we just learned. If we are given that angle MOP plus angle NOP is equal to 180 degree then we can conclude that ray OP stands on line MN. Let's move on to the next axiom. If the sum of the two adjacent angles is 180 degree then the non common arms of the angles form a line that is if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degrees then the sides which are not the common sides of these angles form a line friends the two axioms that we learned together are called the linear pair axiom Now we move on to the next theorem which is related to the two lines. If two lines intersect each other then the vertically opposite angles are equal. Let's convert the ray OP into a line in the same given figure. According to the theorem we have to prove in this figure that angle MOP is equal to angle QON and angle NOP is equal to angle MOQ. So let's start Keeping the ray OP in mind, can we say that angle MOP plus angle NOP is equal to 180 degrees? Yes, according to the linear pair axiom. Similarly, taking ON as the ray, can we say that angle NOP plus angle NOQ is equal to 180 degrees? Yes, according to the linear pair axiom. If we pay attention to both the equations then here the right hand side is equal so the left hand side will also be equal that is angle MOP plus angle NOP equal to angle NOP plus angle NOQ and since here angle NOP is same on both the sides so by cancelling it from both the sides we can write it like this angle MOP equal to angle NOQ And similarly we can also prove angle MOQ is equal to angle NOP. Keeping the ray OQ in mind, can we say that angle MOQ plus angle NOQ equal to 180 degrees? Yes, according to the linear pair axiom. Similarly, taking ON as a ray, we can say that angle NOP plus angle NOQ equal to 180 degrees. If we pay attention to both the equations then here the right hand side is equal So the left hand side will also be equal that is angle MOQ plus angle NOQ equal to angle NOP plus angle NOQ and since here 
angle NOQ is same on both the sides. On cancelling it from both the sides, we can write like this. Angle MOQ is equal to angle NOP. So friends, in this way, we proved that the vertically opposite angles formed by the intersection of two lines are equal. With this, let's end this video. In this video, we discussed the topic pairs of angles. In the next video, we will solve some questions based on this topic.